now available in paperback and Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today. A Jamaican immigrant was shot and killed at a Bronx Dunkin' Donuts on Gun Hill Road after having an argument with a female. Now, your Stefan Stewart, who was 24 years old, was a Jamaican immigrant who came to a Dunkin' Donuts on Friday at 1.30 p.m. and he was standing in line waiting to place his order. And this female comes into the shop cuts in line and your Stefan Stewart allegedly was trying to stand up for himself where he had an argument with the woman who said that these men need to back off because they probably have COVID and this argument over alleged social distancing escalated as the men left and she followed them and after she followed them she called her boyfriend to go out here and attack these men. Now as after these men wound up splitting up and getting out of there, that your Stefan Stewart was confronted by this boyfriend who allegedly had a firearm and shot and killed him. Now, the police are seeing this as an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of this tragic series of events, it fits right in line with the pattern as related to simps that I talk about in my books Stop Simping and The Misadventures of Captain Save Him. And these types of predatory females, what they do is they go out here starting a whole lot of drama. And after they start all of this drama, they go out here looking to go out here and get their boyfriends to go fight for them. And what happens is, in many cases, the boyfriend doesn't understand that he is actually being set up for a shit test. Now, this shit test is all about her seeing how much power she has over this man and when she sees that she can go out here and get this man to participate in this kind of behavior she can say that she has control over this man now this is something many hood rats used to do back in the day when i was in high school they would go out here and get these dope dealer and thug guys and they would sick them on men like pit bulls and they would send these guys to go out here and allegedly defend their honor. Meanwhile, they were out here participating in dishonorable behavior. They would go out here and participate in some ratchet behavior. Then, as the other man goes out here and tries to check her and confront her, what she does is go out here threatening to go get her man. And the guy, because he does not have any critical thinking skills, he goes out here and acts on emotion impulsively looking to confront that other man based on what he said but because these men don't think critically and act impulsively what they do is they rush out here to go get their firearm or put up their hands to go fight this other man not understanding you're being manipulated by a female and this female is setting you up to mess up your life because what this female is doing is she's sending you out here to do some dirty work and she's sending you out here to do this dirty work basically again to see how much power and control she can have over you and that's what this female was doing when she came to the Dunkin Donuts cut in line and then started arguing with Stefan Stewart and his friend she was looking to start a situation where she could go get get some drama started and then send her boyfriend to be the pit bull. And as he went out here playing the white knight, taking out his weapon to defend her honor, what was happening was she was sitting in the back smiling because she knew she had complete control over this individual. And this individual, he doesn't see what's happening here. And what's happening here is, as this woman is pulling the crap test, she, he's going out here, look, going out here in his feelings, looking to murder this man. And sadly, he went out here and took this man's life. 
and not understanding how he practically destroyed his own life over a ratchet female who doesn't really care about him. So he went out here, sadly killed this Jamaican immigrant, and now he's on the run. And as the police go looking for him, this female is going to be going out here looking for somebody else. So a lot of these guys, they don't really see how a game is being played on them and how you have to think critically whenever a female comes out here and says, oh, these guys are starting with me. You have to think critically when she makes this statement. And the thing that you have to do when she makes this statement is say that you're going to go to the police because once you start to say you're going to the police, that's when she's going to start backing up and say, no, I don't want to go to police. I don't want to go to police. And that's when you know she's full of shit. Because that's when you know that this is a game that she's playing. Because if somebody is after her, she's not going to call you first. No, she's going to call 911 and let the police go deal with them. Unfortunately, when you have a lot of simps out here who come from single mother households, these men get so caught up in their emotions over what the woman is saying to them that they don't really sit down and think about their own safety or their own freedom. And because they don't sit there and think about their own safety and their own freedom, all they're thinking about is protecting her from whatever threat she's telling them about. They don't really think about the big picture and realize, hey, I, if this is a guy and she's getting into it with this guy, she needs to go out here and find a way to, one, solve the problem with it, and, or two, she need, if there's a problem that's really bad, she needs to go to the police. She should not be calling me first if she's in a life-threatening situation. She should be calling law enforcement and letting them deal with it. That's what any critical thinking man is going to do. For example, I remember an incident where the son of the former police commissioner, Ray Kelly, he said a woman had told another uh, man that he, he had sexually violated her. But that man's response was one where he wasn't looking to go fight Ray Kelly's son. No, his first statement was, I'm taking this to the police. And when he took his whole case to the police, he started this, they did an investigation and soon found out that this ratchet female was out here looking to cheat with Ray Kelly's son, and he soon found out how ratchet his female was. So that's why when you hear women start to make st emotional statements about, oh, this guy, I had an argument with him, you do not go out here and look to fight the other man. No, you go out here and contact the police and let them do an investigation because when they do the investigation, you'll soon find out that she's a ratchet. Or when you start making the statement, let's go to the police, that's when you find out she's a ratchet. Because that a lot of these women, because they're insecure, what they do is they create these kind of situations, start this kind of drama, and pull these kind of crap tests. And they pull these kind of crap tests because these women are extremely insecure. And because they're insecure, they want to see if this man will perform the roles of a man like a protector and a provider. And what's really disturbing about this situation is they go out here looking to sick men on other men like a, like a violent pit bull. And sadly, because this man has no training by a father or other men to teach him how to deal with these kind of situations, this guy, he gets in his emotions. And because he gets in his emotions, over this woman, he goes out here and acts impulsively, not thinking about the consequences of those actions. Because after this man killed this Jamaican immigrant and took his life, he's now on the run and he's eventually going to get caught. And once he gets caught, what's going to happen is the what's going to happen is he's going to wind up tried and convicted, and he's going to wind up in prison for the rest of his life where he's going to no longer have a girlfriend who's going to be dropping a skid mark thong to give him a taste of the atomic waste. No, they're going to be tearing up that booty inside of the prison after they trade it for Little Debbie Snack Cakes, Raymond Noodles, 
Kit, Kit Kat candy bars, cups of coffee, six-pack Oreo cookies, or anything from the commissary, that is going to be his final fate because he didn't think critically whenever a woman told him something. And one of the things a man has to do is when a woman tells him something, he has to take it with a grain of salt before until it's confirmed by sources. Because to sit there and rush out, that's your instinct as a man, but you have to temper that instinct with discipline because some of these women, they will send you out here on a kamikaze mission, send you out here to go out here and defend her honor. Meanwhile, she's dishonorable, and after she gets you locked up in the penitentiary, six months later, you're getting a letter, and that letter is telling you that, oh, you're not being there for me anymore. I'm, I found somebody else. This relationship isn't working out, and you're not there for her. Meanwhile, you try to ironically be there for her and defend her honor, but this female was never honorable, and she sets up all of these games because of her insecurities, and because of her insecurities, she's got you locked up. Meanwhile, she's out here getting her back blown out by another dude while you're getting your booty blown out by Bubba and Tiny. And sadly, that's what happens to many guys out here who don't know the game. And sadly, almost 30 plus years later, I'm seeing more guys fall for the exact same game that I saw go on back in high school when I was a kid. And I remember back then hearing about horror stories like this go on here in New York City where guys would kill other guys because a girl sat there and weaponized him and sicked him on another man like a pit bull and the guy because he didn't think critically he went out here went out here with his, with his gun looking to shoot the other guy or stab the other guy and then when the police caught him and locked him up she was out here with one of with another dude and in many cases she was out here with one of his own friends i mean cool g rap talked about this in his song edge of sanity and it's, a lot of these guys don't know how they are on the edge of sanity going out here going out here playing these kind of games with these kind of females and going out here thinking oh this is my woman i'm gonna protect her but the whole thing is who's protecting you from her predatory behavior that's the critical question i want to ask many of these guys out here who buy into this type of f hyper masculine false machismo who's protecting you from this female when she's out here who's protecting you from the games that she's playing and the whole thing is you don't have anybody to protect you from her games so that's why you have to understand why you don't act impulsively because she's not looking out for your best interest when she sends you out here to do something like this because the if a woman truly respects you she is not going to put you in a situation where your life is going to be put in danger and she's not going to put you in a situation where you are going to be put at risk for getting locked up over some foolishness if a woman truly loves you she is not going to send you out here to go defend her honor as related to getting to being a fight over a space in a line at a dunkin donuts no she's not going to send you put you in a, a situation where you're going to wind up putting your life at risk over a, a over something like as trivial as a place in a line at dunkin donuts no no man is going to go out here and when well, no a woman is going to go out here and do that kind of thing because if a woman loves you She's not going to go out here and put you in a perilous situation. No, only predatory females will put you in a perilous situation over something trivial. And usually when a female puts you in that kind of situation, it's because she's got somebody else lined up that she's looking to get with. So that's what happens to a lot of guys out here. And sadly, this was one of the reasons why your Emmett Till sadly wound up losing his life back in the 50s because a ratchet female, just like the one right here, s told some guys to go out here and take another man's life. And because those men were too stupid to understand that they were being played, 
they wound up again murdering a little boy who was 14 years old in the same way this Jamaican immigrant wound up losing his life all because many of these men don't go out here and think critically about a situation and don't think hey this female is not looking out for me and I guarantee you in this case where I've seen the video of this black woman she was definitely looking not looking out for this dude because I doubt she would do this with Mr. Clean. I doubt she would call Mr. Clean and have him go out here and fight over her. No, he, he wouldn't do that to Mr. Clean, but she did it to this guy. And now this guy is on the run. His life is practically over. And now he's looking at life in prison while she's living her best life with another dude. And that's something many men really need to think about. She's going to be out here living her best life with another dude and getting her back blown out by another dude while you're trying to fight to save your booty hole from being torn up by Bubba and Tiny and she's sending you a Dear John letter telling you it's not going to work out. So that's why you really need to talk to other men about relationships and learn about the situation because that's how you avoid winding up in these kind of situations and you wind up not getting your life jammed up and messed up by predatory females like this. Now, if you want to learn how to avoid situations like this, you will need to pick up my book, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, The Misadventures of Captain Save em, and The Man Crisis on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format, because these books will teach you all about the predatory nature of predatory females, and it will teach you how to avoid these kind of females and these kind of situations like this. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time in paperback, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Men, learn what you need to know in order to protect your job from workplace predators with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available in paperback at online booksellers everywhere.